in a genetic study funded by Prostate Cancer Canada, we actually looked at uh, patients who had mutations in the BRCA2 gene. And when those patients develop prostate cancer, we actually looked at those prostate cancers to try to understand why they're so aggressive. And what I mean by that is that 50% of men who have these types of uh, mutations and develop prostate cancer unfortunately die within five years of the disease. It's a very aggressive disease. But we thought actually by looking at the genetics of these cancers that we might have find secrets of aggression that might actually explain why some other cancers that occur at random, prostate cancers that occur at random within the population may also be aggressive. So we looked at 14 patients. Now that's a very few patients, but of course it's less than 1% of the population that have this mutation. But because we did a larger study, close to 500 patients who are random in the population with prostate cancer, we could actually look at the differences in these specific BRCA2 associated prostate cancers relative to the other ones. And what we found is that pathways that are usually activated only when the cancer spreads or when the cancer becomes resistant to hormone therapy they're already activated in the BRCA2 prostate cancers. It's as if the BRCA2 prostate cancers are primed for aggression right up front. Now why is that important? Well, it turns out that the BRCA2 gene itself is actually involved in what's called DNA repair. It's the repair of DNA or chromosomes that take place every second of every day of every year of our lives. And these pathways can be abnormal in cancer, and actually it's been found that these cancers that have repair defects actually have an Achilles heel that we may be able to use novel drugs to actually kill specifically these cancers and actually these drugs wouldn't work on other types of cancers.